can functional transfer methods capture simple inductive biases? That is the question we are trying to answer in this work. I'm Arne Nix, and this is joint work with Suas Srinivasan, Edgar Walker, and Fabian Zinn. Here, we investigate knowledge transfer between a teacher and a student network. We are particularly interested in knowledge that helps the teacher generalize better. Or in other words, we want to capture its inductive biases and distill those into the student. In simple cases, where teacher and student have the same architecture, this can be achieved by copying the weights. However, inductive biases are particularly interesting if the architecture differs. That's why we focus on methods that do not rely on the weights for transfer, namely functional transfer methods. In general, we investigate transfer between the student representation phi and the teacher representation psi. To study how functional transfer methods handle inductive biases, we choose to focus on shift equivalence first, since this is one of the simplest and most fundamental in the inductive biases. And we find that it's rather a challenging property to transfer. In this example, if we shift the input image, we expect an equivariant representation to be shifted as well. The effect on the input image or the feature map is determined by the group representation rho, which, for example, expresses the shift operation applied to the image. The equivariance is what we want to capture and transfer to the student independent of architecture or task. We conduct a first experiment on 1D MNIST, where we classify 1D representation of digits and have full control over the shift in the data. The x-axis shows the maximum shift in the training data. At zero, the training data contains no shifts at all. So the 1D representation of the number three always starts at position zero. At 20, the data contains shifts up to the halfway point. At 40, all shifts are seen in training. Our student network, a simple MLP, does not generalize to unseen shifts, which can be seen by the orange line. The same goes when we train it with knowledge distillation from a CNN teacher. A sanity check shows that matching all layers directly works well. To have more restrictions on the inner representations, we try attention transfer. This fails as well at tra transferring the equivalence. Finally, representational distance learning also fails to capture this inactive bias. Why is this the case? We analyze this from a theoretical perspective for the class of representational similarity methods that RDL belongs to. In transfer, these methods try to maximize the similarity between teacher and student representation. However, with currently used similarity measures, even for a perfect match with similarity one, we only know that the student representation matches the teacher, the teacher's representation up to an orthogonal transformation Q. If this holds and we assume that the teacher is equivalent, we show that in our paper, we show in our paper that the transfer cannot guarantee the student's equivalence with respect to the same group representation. This means that the equivalence that of the student may be different from the teacher's equivalence, which can negatively affect the rest of the network function. To avoid this problem of not capturing the right equivalence, we propose orbit transfer, a novel method that directly learns the group representation role at the, that the teacher is equivalent to. We do this in an intermediate step, the resulting group representation should capture the teacher's equivalence and is finally used to guide the student towards the same equivalence. If we apply orbit to our 1D toy task, we finally see that we successfully transfer the equivalence. To scale this to a more realistic setting, we transfer from a CNN to an MLP on standard MNIST training data and evaluate it on centered and shifted images. The results show clearly that the MLP student on its own has no shift equivalence. Also, the finding from 1D MNIST is confirmed as we see that established transfer methods struggle to capture the equivalence. Our orbit method, on the other hand, successfully transfers the shift equivalence, which can also be seen in the group representations that are learned in the process. Similar results also can also be observed when transferring from a ResNet teacher to a vision transformer student. Orbit can also model more complex, affine transformations. This allows us to transfer different types of equivalence, like rotation equivalence, for example. We evaluate this on transfer between a group convolutional teacher and an MLP student. The results show that we again outperform all established functional transfer methods by a large margin. If you are interested in learning more about this project, please check out our poster on Tuesday.